Hello, welcome to Grafting Kitty. My name is Erin and I have an opening here today. This is going to be my last opening of this particular subscription box. This is the Yarn Bliss box. This is by uh, Speckled Finch Studios. This has been a wonderful box. Um, I actually didn't intend to get this box. I canceled at the wrong time and it had charged me again for this month but that is totally okay because like I said I love this box this the yarn has been absolutely beautiful and I'm kind of sad to see it go but I am excited to check out some other subscription boxes and see what they offer as well so um yeah you will already have seen I opened my new one it was yarnable and that one was wonderful. I'm going to do that one probably for a couple of months and then probably look for something else to just, like I said, to see what's out there in the subscription. Thrist from Thrist and Stitches has got me interested in the subscription boxes. I always get hers. So we'll see um, Thrist. I've been doing her um, full spectrum box each month. So she does the full spectrum and then she started the birthstone. I keep calling it gemstone, but it's birthstone. And I'm going to get one of those. Although tragedy struck yesterday. I was horrified. I was looking for yarn to do hats and things on my Addy because I've got it mounted on the kitchen table. And it's kind of nice when like, you know, dinner's boiling. I can go crank a little bit on the Addy, but I've run out of yarn there. So I was gathering materials and I went to grab a cake of yarn. I want to see how Ferris wheel works up on the Addy. Just an experiment. And it was right next to my um, garnet yarn from Thriss. And the garnet yarn fell and it is inaccessible to me right now. I can't reach it because it fell behind a box. <laughs> I have to rescue it. It was treasure. I was like, no. Okay, I don't know why I'm going on about that for two minutes when we have to open this wonderful box. I am so curious. I am so excited to see it. Like, I am, like I said, I am not at all sad to have this show up on my doorstep. I am so excited. Um, Nina actually emailed me and it was very sweet and kind. Um, Nina is the owner of Feckled, Speckled Finch Studios. She is sweet and kind and please look for big things to be coming from her. I am absolutely going to be buying more yarn from her in the future. And, you know, I might just come back around and sign back up for this box. Because like I said, this has been a great box. I'm having trouble getting the flap out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Oh, see, like, she does such a great job at coordinating and making the interior of the box beautiful. And so you get the extras pouch. Oh, what's that? Okay, so let's see. All things grow with love. So this is a little card that tells you about what's in the box. Very cool. Ooh. Perfect. Okay, let's see. I don't want to give it all away. So we have a tea called Cup of Love, Nurturing Rose, Herbal Tea, Two Sachets Without Caffeine from Big Heart Tea. Oh. We, we designed our tea bags extra big. Nice. Oh, and the tea bags are 100% compostable. Compostable. Nice. So it's organic Tulsi and organic rose. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever had a rose tea. That is fun. Big heart tea. That is cool. I'm excited. And then we have these. These are, oh, they're stitch stoppers. Perfect. So they are pink heart stitch stoppers. Those you stick on the end of your knitting needles. So your stitches don't fall off of your needles. Perfect. And this sucker is a hard candy lollipop from Homespun Parties, and it is watermelon flavored. It's a little heart. That's adorable. And this is, I have no idea what this is. Small Palolonia Heart White. I thought maybe it was like a, ah, uh, 
bath bomb when I first saw it. But no, okay, it is wooden. It is a decorative wooden heart. It's so cute. That is cool. I like this. This is very beautiful and on theme. Put the lollipop back in the sachet. I am going to put this back here because I have a couple of tea bags to go downstairs. Very cool. Keep that with that. Let's see the yarn. So what I got here was, um, you can pick the number of yarn you get and you can pick, I believe you could pick bases. I don't recall. Um, this one in particular, all, the bag fell. Um, things are falling left and right here. Um, all told, including shipping, this box is $75. So you get, I got two skins of yarn, a uh, variegated and a tonal is what I picked for my selections. And all of the goodies, $75, including shipping. Shipping was $12.95. So if you back that out, it's like 60 what, $63 for the yarn and the goodies. Um, let's look at the yarn and then we'll talk cost breakdown. <gasps> oh, oh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Okay. So here's the tonal. It is a bright kind of fuchsia -y color. It's called From the Heart. This is her hearty sock base, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams, 463 yards fingering weight hand wash in cool water lay flat to dry that is beautiful and it goes fantastically with this yarn which is the variegated yarn it's called love blooms it definitely gives a fantastic floral look oh that is beautiful look at that the speckling she gets on her yarn is just perfection i'm going to show that again because I thought maybe it was focusing on my face but look at the two of them together that is beautiful that is beautiful okay so I know you hear that price tag and go Yeek! I totally understand um, but remember this is an independent dyer hand dyed yarn at a um an LYS the yarn could easily be $30 a skein so what you can consider is I paid Full price for each skein of yarn and all of the goodies were just free extras. Or, I mean, you could say maybe the goodies are worth... See, I have trouble valuing the goodies. I'm going to say probably around $15, which is probably a lowball estimate. Which then, if you take that off, that's 50 bucks, which then gives you roughly $25 a skein, which is still um, a reasonable price for a hand-dyed sock yarn like that I would expect to pay more at my LYS for it like at my LYS I would expect to pay in the $30 range um for this type of yarn so I think this is a great opportunity to get some great sets the yarn is beautiful I like it I know it's an investment um and it's a surprise so you don't know the yarn colors you have to be willing to not control the colors which I know some people can't do and if that's not your thing this is not for you and I totally understand that's totally valid um but I like the surprise element I like I said I've loved these boxes I think the yarn is beautiful um but yeah I am excited to see what some other subscriptions offer and we'll see uh, I always label it so I know which month it was just in case but I think it's actually on the card which I forgot to put back in the box so I'll slip that in the box <laughs> okay so oops, yeah okay my address is on the back side the yarn bliss box very happy very satisfied kind of sad this is my last one happy I went out on a high because that is some gorgeous gorgeous yarn there that is pretty I am so excited um like I said I might come back to it um we'll see we'll see what's out there first oh it's always nerve-wracking when you make a decision isn't it don't like it okay i will see you guys later thank you so much um let me know if you've gotten this box or let me know what you would make with that yarn just because it's sock yarn doesn't mean it has to be socks okay see you soon <laughs>